Hello everybody. Today we're reviewing the Mega SCF Victory Leo. Uh, you see some nice artwork there. This is what it looks like on the top. I love how it's super posable. It's like super posable and fully painted. That is true of the fully painted part. The posability is a whole other story, but yeah. Um, on the box, there's no mention of the car. Um, I forget what the company name was for these. Um, I think it might have been just that super collect uh, collection action figure. Oh no, it is the car because there's, there's, there's a fucking ah. There's a fucking link right there <laughs> to Takara's website. Uh, what does it say right there? Cybertrons doesn't. Cybertrons doesn't matter for me. Huh. Okay, so anyways, without further ado, boop. Um, he does come with some other accessories, but um. We'll go over those accessories when we uh, talk about, um, what's his name, um, Star Saber, but that probably won't be for a while, just because um, uh, Star Saber is expensive, and I, I don't want to be a broke son of a bitch, so uh, yeah. Um, oh yeah, one thing I do want to mention though, is if you take it, there's an insert in the box, which looks like the arc. Um, you can actually take that out of the box and you can use that as a backdrop so ho <laughs> pretty studio series but uh yeah uh, i mean technically it just does but i don't know if that was intentional or not but yeah because um, i forget when these came out like if i'm being totally honest i know it was like when i was a kid i know that much but like that's really all I know. <laughs> um, I couldn't really tell you what year these were. Just other than it was like early 2000. Because uh, they did Unicron Trilogy ones for these as well. Uh, there is one, I don't know, one accessory we might be able to show off. Which is the little... The V-Lock cannon thing. Um, let's... Yeah, that'll be a running theme. Parts falling off on this thing. Um... Is it the same or? Uh, you could technically put it in there, but it's definitely meant for Star Saber because it sits very loosely in there. Okay. Put that back. And I'll go to why this comes off. Because, uh, uh, yeah, no, this figure uh, does something I did not expect. I will show you the other accessories. Uh, they're on this tray right there. I just knocked them over. Um, honestly, you could probably blow on this figure and it'll fall over. Let me see if that'll actually knock it over. No, I don't even know what that will. Because <laughs> he is heavy, the torso and the legs are pretty heavy. So, like, me just lightly blowing on it ain't gonna knock it over, but lightly tapping it will. Makes perfect sense. But, uh, this is actually pretty close to 3 3 quarter inch size. Um, I'll bring a couple 3 3 quarter inch figures out to show you that in a bit. But for right now, we'll go over articulation. So the arm goes out that far. You get a 90 degree elbow with this ugly little joint. Then you go to the legs. Leg can go up that far, so kind of pitiful. You get a 90 degree, almost 90 degree, but not all the way knee. Uh, so you can't, you can get the leg back the same amount. So really all you can do is like hope that this thing doesn't fall over because of how mine's the ball joints are loose um it might have been tighter uh new but uh yeah but i do remember my demolisher not having the best of ball joints and that thing was like i think that was like new out of box when i was messing with that so yeah his legs are also fucking heavy um that's a thing that the fucking sound wave which I'll do a size comparison right now does better it, it um there are ball joints there but uh how that it, where the placement of them is better executed because whoever is running the mega SCF stuff is like 
the person is, f- I'm just going to say is a fucking idiot, just because they, like, I, I, I get this still has to do this, the fucking victory saber gimmick, but, like, at the cost of having this leg not function properly, it's just fucking mind-boggling. Because I can't remember if Demolisher had a similar issue. In his case, he doesn't do a combining gimmick, so I don't know. I know the Starscream, they, they didn't have that issue. And nor did the uh, Hot Rod, because I had both at one point. Um, and these are the G1 versions of them. As they did do an Armada Starscream, but I never messed with that mold. And I actually would like to get it, as well as their Optimus. Not the combined mode Optimus from Armada, but the uh, regular Optimus from Armada that they did. I never see that one up for eBay, so I'm assuming that's the one that's cost you a fucking arm and leg. But, uh, yeah. That, it sculpted nicely. I give it that. Oh, it has this weird sticky texture to it. Um, I do remember the other ones having that issue. Also, some of the plastic feels gummy, and then some of it feels like hard as a rock. It's 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 fucking weird. Um, um, it's not really much. Th- oh yeah, and then the heads. It's yeah. <laughs> this figure's kind of scuffed. Uh, I got him for thirty bones. Uh, he normally goes for fifty or forty bucks, and at that price, I wouldn't really recommend him. I wouldn't really recommend it for 30 but I'm kind of on a hunt to get Victory Leos and um, Star Sabers that can do the whole Victory Saber thing. So that includes the the uh, these Mega SCF ones, the Robot Master ones, and then the, um, what were those ones called? Um, the... Uh, I'm not including the Kabaya gum ones because those are just like. Well, I guess you could, but I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, um, you got those, the G1 toys, which I did extra score on by E not that long ago, so. Woohoo! But uh, yeah, no, um. Yeah. It's. This is an interesting figure to say the least. Interesting how uh, Red's not as shitty as Mega SCF was. Some of the sculpts are kind of weird too. Like, I will say their sculpts were better than early Rebel Tech Transformers. Which, oh dear lord. It does not look good. Especially that Prime Megatron. Oh, They did not look good. The Starscream actually looked pretty cool. And then from what I remember, the... Um, the hot rod they did looked pretty decent. And then the current Rebel Tech stuff, uh, the current Optimus they did. Oh, that thing looks beautiful. Um, but yeah. Anyways, uh, these aren't the only non transforming transformers I have. Um, I'll actually get into that discussion with the other ones, but those are model kits. You can probably guess what model kits they are, but yeah. Uh, I'll get into those some other time, just cause it's it's late on my end. I don't feel like filming anything else. <laughs> but uh, also oh, those um do bring up a different conversation with uh. Well, it's the same conversation as these. With part of the community feels like oh, it's heresy having non transformable tr- non transformable transformer. The other side's like, oh, it's all good. You know, um, I, you obviously see here I have non-transformable ones, so you guys pretty clearly see I don't really fucking care. (laughs) If anything, I actually kind of like Action Masters. Oh, wait a minute, let me get that three and three quarter inch figure so I can do that comparison like I was saying earlier. Fuck, I'm tired. Anyways, I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. So we got a Death Watch Mandalorian. Ah, shit. <laughs> the feet on the Death Watch, at least mine's, does not want to fucking stand on any smooth fucking surfaces. For whatever damn reason. So there's that size comparison. And then I got a Retro is the Dark Times Vader for Obi-Wan Kenobi. But it's the Retro Carded ones, which are actually modified Kenner molds. 
So that's neat. <laughs> uh, I got the Vader. Because he was like seven bucks on Amazon along with Boba Fett was seven bucks. And the Boba Fett was from the book of Boba Fett. Um, and yeah. I got that for somebody as a Christmas gift. Hopefully Sid somebody isn't watching this video. Otherwise, you know, one of your gifts already. <laughs> the other gift, though, for that said person. um, Yeah, no, I won't be talking about that one at all, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll move these two out of the way. I, I Honestly, I'm going to talk about Vintage Collection sometime uh, soon. Um, to gauge that as well. But yeah, I, I kind of just got into Vintage Collection, so yeah. But I do have in storage a bunch of 3 3 quarter inch Star Wars figures, so it's not like I'm starting from nowhere with 3 3 quarter inch stuff. Um, I stopped collecting before the Disney acquisition, I think. Whenever Clone Wars ended, and then they started doing the five points of articulation for all the Star Wars figures, was right that, that period was when I stopped collecting 3 3 quarter inch Star Wars. So yeah. Anyways... Um, back from the grave, we have a new age Toxatron. What I mean by that is, uh, I forget which video review I was doing. I think it was the Optimus video for the, um, for the Armada one. He went flying off the table and the, uh, smokestack on this side, like, fucking snapped off. He actually, I did a really good job gluing it. Um, you really can't tell too much that I glued it, but anyways, that's him, size comparison, um, I don't know if the scaling there is good <laughs> with Victory Leo and him, um, cause I don't know if Victory Leo is smaller than Genrai, or if, um, this is horribly out of scale, um, but yeah, I'll have him more shoulder to shoulder just so you can see how that, like, looks. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to pit him back before he breaks again, because I don't want that happening. Actually, I'll just do that after this video. I'll just keep him as far away from the edge as I could possibly keep him. But yeah, that was a look at... Oh, let me actually just get a closer look at that mug. But yeah, that was a look at the Mega SCF uh, Victory Leo. Um, oh yeah, he's wristy rotate down a peg. Forgot to mention that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, he's, I, I do not recommend him. If you want to make an SCF figure, just grab any of the Armada ones there. From what I've seen, uh, they're mostly good, and then, for what they are. And the Demolisher, I remember being pretty fun. So, yeah. Um, the Starscream's not a bad option either. It just looks a little funny. But aside from that, it's a pretty good figure. Um, Rodimus. The Hot Rod I can't really recommend because the proportions are just kind of fucking wonk. And then the head sculpts aren't that great on that Hot Rod. But yeah. Anyways. Just be me quiet. Hope you guys enjoyed this video with this obscure figure. And uh, yeah. Anyways. I'm out. Peace.